Hey traders, welcome to the daily recap for January 18th, 2023. Let's take a look what we did today. So we came out in the morning, we had a couple things to the upside. Um, then of course, you know, the market started to break down. So what happened today? A couple things we had overnight dash. We had these uh, 58 calls, which worked out nicely for about 200% uh, on those. Uh, we came out with um, some Qualcomm uh, to start the day as well. The 125 calls, which ended up going around 68%. That was a decent little trade there. Uh, low, this one ended up not working to 1750s because the market started to turn there. We had more 8799 calls on for about 40% on those. Coin calls on for about 35% on those. Now calls on the 445 calls this morning on that idea for around 45% uh, as well. <clears throat> we had some Amazon uh, scalp, the 100 calls this morning. Uh, scalp idea for around 22%. We had ZS uh, this morning as well. Actually, so we're overnight 120 calls. Those ended up going 263%, so that was a decent one. Baidu off the lows for about 30% on that idea. Not bad. And then uh, the market did start to turn a little bit, so we were kind of stayed away from the uh, the call side until the end of the day. We tried to do a little bit of bounces, but mainly on the SPX side the entire day, 3965, 3960. Uh, put spread legged into max out at 5,000%. 39.50 put roll today, idea 303%, uh, 39.40 rolls, 75%, and then we had a couple other rolls to the downside. We did try uh, a bounce here for next day calls, it ended up not working, and then a bounce at the end of the day, uh, which we did actually get uh, one bounce that worked pretty decently. Um, and then we tried it again right there, and that one failed, so we ended up going to uh, SPX puts for tomorrow, um, and ended up lagging into a spread, which actually worked pretty good for 1500%. So. All in all, decent on that side. Uh, equity side, a little bit on the choppy side um, today. Not as high of a hit rate as I would have liked, but you know things were a little bit more difficult to trade. Uh, MRNA this morning, um, long at 199 for about six, seven points on that idea there. Tesla long this morning for two points. Um, FUV, we tried this one, ended up being a 10 cent loss. Uh, crowd, long idea for about a point and a half on that, which was okay. PANW long, which ended up going about 50, 60 cents to the upside and then getting rejected, which was unfortunate. Thought would have a little bit more follow through there. Excess long at 70, 12. That ended up being a failure on that one. Uh, we tried some Tesla short, ended up taking that one off flat on that idea. Uh, now long 424.50 at this little flag, um, or sort of this EMA support, which ended up not working, so that ended up being a failure trade as well. AVGO long. That one ended up not working. Uh, that was an intraday. Microsoft short for about 50 cents on that one. Uh, team short for about 30 cents on that one. MRNA long at the end of the day for a nice point and change to the upside. EMPH long at the end of the day for a nice point and change on that one. Tesla long at the end of the day uh, for about uh, a point on the upside as well from the 127.74 area. And then we did try um, uh, Amazon long at 96.21 that ended up having to be stopped out because it just ended up failing so that was a failure on that one and then uh, low we tried that one as well and that one it did not work so and by the sorry as well so there's a couple that you know it's probably like 60 60 percent hit rate on the uh, equity side today it's not great the stuff that we tried at the end of the day was you know obviously all these ideas really small size so paper cuts but you know a couple there the ones and stuff the stuff that worked this morning was great on the equity side Options, uh, you know, not bad because we kind of just stayed away from everything once the market started to sell off. SPX, of course, was great. We got a ton of range on the NDC today, so fantastic to see that. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow, guys. Market did pull into a uh, EMA support on the daily, so we're back at the 13 EMA. We'll see whether or not this trend holds. If it doesn't, we're going through the 58 tomorrow and probably into this uptrend, in my opinion. I was kind of looking at the past uh, times when we got failure, and that's what happened. You know, failure here through the 50 EMA and then kind of right back into the uptrend. Uh, in the uh, medium to long term. So, you know, we did hit a double top on the daily, we did hit the 50 MA on the weekly um, as well at the upside. So we'll see what happens. It was interesting action with the, you know, with the tenure doing what it did, PPI doing what it did. You would thought, you know, would have been a bullish day, but, you know, market makers came in and kind of slammed the market to the downside. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Should be an interesting one. If you guys want to come pop in and trade with us, you can certainly do so. Go to SpartanTrading.com. You can sign up there. Um, we do have three different chats, you know, the swing chat. Investment, investment ideas chat as well. So for longer term ideas, if you're looking for that, you can check everything out on the website, sparring.com. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.